So what's up, y'all? It's LB, and this is LB's time, and I'm back with another video, man. All right, so y'all know I've been working hard on a bike all winter. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to show y'all a sneak peek of the design. I was gonna put the wrap on it and move that over. I want y'all to see it yet. I was gonna put the wrap on it, but I decided not to go with the wrap. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I don't know. I just decided not to go with it. Couldn't make up my mind. But I think I came up with a nice concept that definitely makes the bike look good and different in my own original style. All right, so y'all ready for that sneak peek? Here we go. Before knowing that's how we've been raised. Society is getting heavy. I can feel the weight, the pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shit. All right, here we go. That's the style I decided to go with to match it up with the car. I decided not to go with the wrap. I think the paint looked better. I designed it myself. You know what I mean? And it'll definitely match the Lex, match up with the Lex. And uh, I like it, man. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta just picture the whole thing together. You gotta picture the whole bike together. You know, put together, it's gonna look real nice. So uh, that's just y'all sneak peek. And that's the style I came up with. I like it. It matches up the Lex. You know what I'm saying? And it's, that's like two peas in the pot. Definitely wanna give a shout out to my boy Pete, who came up with this nice design on his shirt. You know what I'm saying? Hooked me up with a couple of shirts. I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? And um, he got his own he got his own clothing line coming out soon. And once I get the information for that, definitely gonna put y'all up on it and let y'all know what's up. But right now, I gotta go pick up my sister. I'm gonna drop off somewhere and uh, I'll be back with y'all. But do me a favor, y'all. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely trying to build my channel up. And I need y'all help to do it. Yo, give me a B-roll. Sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. Help us remember. These battle scars don't look like they're faded. Don't look like they're ever gone away. They ain't never gonna change. These battle. Growing up, I had a dream, something no one else could see. Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees and you can't breathe. Everything you see reminds you of what you're not or something you won't be. You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business Not because they wanna do it, just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor, knowing that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame And that's the reason I'm staying up late Trying to find a way to escape The stereotypes this day and age is making me feel like the only way I'll be happy is getting signed to a label and making money through rapping I wanna share my emotion because this world is attacking The very principle of life that lets the people be happy If you don't have a reason to breathe, why even live? These battles cause our impressions of everything that it is Alright, alright, so I'm back, I dropped my sister off And uh, I just wanna tell y'all a little bit something about the car, man You know what I'm saying? This is my channel car this is um, the Lexus SC400 V8, you know what I'm saying? It's a project I've been working on. Um, you know, I did the paint job myself, me and my homeboy. Uh, I got the Giovanni wheels on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, these are called the uh, Giovanni Capris. These are the Giovanni Capris wheels, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to go bigger, but you just can't find them no more. I mean, I wish I knew somebody that uh, remade the wheels or something like that. I would definitely get them remade it over. In a bigger wheel, like a 22. I already got coilovers on the car, so I can raise the car up higher or lower. I mean, it's definitely a cool car. It's definitely a conversation piece. You know, everywhere I go, people ask about the car. I go to the gas station or anywhere. You know what I mean? They always um, ask about the car. They love the car. You know what I'm saying? It's just a cool thing, and that's what you want for your your channel. It took a lot of hard work to get this car to where it's at now, but I'm not finished with it yet. If you go back and pull up some of my old videos, you can see how I painted the car and what it took to get it to this point. So subscribe to the channel, y'all. It's all free. There you go. So it's the next day, y'all. I gotta put some gas in this car. I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, but it's alright. It's all good. It's a nice day out here, man. We having the sun is out. Pull up to the new gas station. Get me some gas. Put some gas in this thing, but it's all good. And it's actually hot out here, man. Like I could throw on some shorts or something like that. Hey, what a nice day. We finally passed that winter. The snow is definitely gone. Alright? So let me put some gas in this and I'll be right back with you. Yes. 
price is a little bit lower. That's a good thing. 389, New York. So since I was close to Crazy Ab shop and I haven't seen him in a while, I figured I'll stop by and check him out. Take him to pick up some lunch too. I know he on his grind over here. I think he told me he just came back from vacation. Better get that ass in gear, boy. Welcome home, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Let me put a record on so I can, so I can tape your ass hit me, boy. <laughs> what the hell, man? Yo, E, so what, so what you got to say to the people? Still America, man. Right, man. Another black man. I'm in the motherfucking office again. I see you got the caddy right here, man. Do something good, nigga. Bye, you know what I'm saying? All right, E, cut the shit. Now. I'm just out here trying to live, man. I'm trying to get this paper, dog. Hey, you take that motherfucker everywhere. Yo, I'm going to see you riding that thing down south one day. Yeah, Riding down south from New York. That boy is crazy. There he is. Crazy dude, man. Yeah, back at the shop. Shop blog. You know Boston uh, House run down? Yeah. Yeah. Across the street? Yeah. I don't know what that dude was doing, but. Hey. Check out all that video. You see? He was cutting that shit up. He ain't really on the field over there either. Nah, he had all those cars. Same goal you just did? My back window won't go up. Welcome to the drive, bro. I'm ready to run out and go find something to eat. Uh-oh. What kind of car? What kind of car? It's a, it's a Nissan Armada. Poor Crazy Ab. It looked like he couldn't catch a break today. You know what they say, though. The grind don't stop. He was just about to leave out and go to lunch. Damn. But I'm going to get my boy to lunch in a minute, no matter what. But check out this Jeep that I was looking at, man. That thing is real nice. Trying to get this Jeep. The Jeep is nice, though. Yep, that's how it is sometimes when you work at these jobs. Sometimes the boss want to work your fingers to the bone. Got the big bag. Get your ass in trouble, boy. <laughs> Look at this ass. Walk like Red Fox. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm right here on the ground with Look at this thing. Sitting here, sitting here eating. Damn, dude. Yep, y'all guessed it. That was his boss calling him back to work. Man, this is a bad day for Crazy Ab. He just couldn't get a break. Guess he just got to eat on the go. I mean, dang. By the time you call for your food and get it ready and stuff like that, it's time to go right back to work. If I need any parts for my car or something like that, he right down, so I don't mind coming out here, helping him out, grab, take him to get some food to eat, and show you a little appreciation, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days, growing up and stuff, I used to work on, help him work on his car, he used to help him work on my car, and he had a brother named James. Now James used to help us too, he's not with us anymore. I used to call him Junior. All three of us was really tight growing up. I sure do miss that guy. So that's why, once in a while, I gotta come check on Crazy Air, make sure he good. He got his food, I eat, man. I'ma catch you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? You know I'ma holler at you. Word up. One love. <laughs> Definitely um, thinking about not doing YouTube no more. But then I thought about what my brother said. And you've been making films and stuff like that since you was a kid. You can't give up now. I guess I just been hanging around a lot of negative people, man. And they will zap your energy with that negativity, man. I just can't be around that. I just cannot be around that. All that negative energy, boy, will definitely bring you down. So I try to um, keep myself around positive people because. Uh, Damn, they just, I mean, I was feeling like I was depressed or something like that. And I never felt that way before. But they almost try to stop me from doing what I wanna what I wanna do and what I like to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a car culture and um, you know, having fun, man, meeting like I always say, like meeting some cool people and seeing some cool cars. And that's what's up. So what I was talking about, y'all, is keeping the negative people out of your life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they zap your energy to the point where you know, they taking your motivation away. And you can't be around that. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of plans for this channel. I got a lot of cool stuff uh, coming up. Got the bike and everything. 
and me being around those type of people, they just zap my energy. You know what I'm saying? No hope, no motivation, no nothing. And that shit ain't good. But I mean, I don't have no problem with nobody else doing whatever they want to do with their life. But you can't let nobody come into your life and take what you want to do away. You know what I'm saying? So you got to recognize that and get yourself far away from those type of people. That's like what they call a narcissistic behavior. All right, we at that time in the video. So y'all know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on LB's Time. And don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians.